Dame i gospodo, nakon podcasta nastavljamo dalje sa programom. Znači imamo još predavanja. Ja moguće. A sljedećeg, gospodina kojeg pozivamo, on je Jakub Kozak, Regional Sales Manager i Central Europe Genetek. Genetek, oni su ti isto znamo. Tako je. A subject je Beyond Locking and Unlocking Doors, Modernizing Your Access Control System, Mr. Jakub Kozak. Jakub, I need your help because I always forget my keys. Welcome, nice to see you. Welcome, nice to meet you. Can you hear me, guys? I think it's working, okay, perfect. First of all, let me introduce myself and say that I'm really glad to see such a big audience. I know that I'm competing with lunch, partially. But I was told that the lunch will be until 4 o'clock almost, yeah? So take your time. You don't need to go for lunch right away because you might skip really good presentation and lunch will, will wait for you. So please bear that in mind. And uh, let me be very honest with you. This presentation I received quite recently. So uh, there might be some issues with, you know, being smooth. And unfortunately, I don't have any prompter and I don't have any screen in front of me. So I have to rotate a little bit to see what is happening over there. So uh, please apologize for that. Normally I don't do it, but this time I think I will have to do it. Um, I'm regional sales manager at Genetech. I worked for Genetech four years and I'm based in, in Warsaw, Poland. I'm almost 20 years in the industry. Um, four years at, uh, at Genetech and I'm responsible for East Central Europe, which includes all Adriatic countries. So this is about myself. I will say a few words about, about the company as well, because I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with, with Genetech. So Genetech is a Canadian company, pretty, I would say, mature. So we will celebrate 25th anniversary this year. And we are the company who started, I would say, IP revolution in video management software. So as you know, Axis Camera, first IP Axis Camera was invented in 1996. But the camera without a software to manage the video is pretty useless. So there was a need in the market to introduce the video management software, which would be fully IP and Genetech came to the market with a solution. The solution was called Omnicast. We still use this name, but now we talk about platform, which is Genetech Security Center. It is unified platform, and part of the platform is still Omnicast. But this particular presentation will be not about video, although I will mention video several times. It will be more about access control. And for me, this is really important that after the presentation, you remember that Genetech is not only vendor of video, it is also vendor of access control. And in fact, we are a number two in the world. Now, regarding the global, global sales of access control, we are very strong in America. America is a good business, good industry for us. It's a big one. Uh, we are growing in Europe as well, but perhaps we are not as known as, as in the US for access control, and this is one of the reasons of the presentation. So you are aware that Genetech is video, but it's also access control and very powerful, complex access control system as well. So talking about access control, the, the challenges that, that customers are, are facing. This, we, we always start with, with, with challenges because we want to focus on them and then offer a solution. But we are open um, with, with our customers that our solution is not for everyone, it's not for all the projects, for most of them, but um, we are very precise and open what kind of challenges you can um, uh, solve with Genetech, with our platform. So basically one of the challenges, and it's a spe specifically important challenge and presence in access control is uh, obsolescence. Um, that means that there are some access control systems that are obsolete and you cannot do anything with that. The average time for access control to be replaced is, uh, how do you think, how many years? Maybe someone can raise a hand and give me the answer after which period normally you replace access control on average. Five? Ten years. That's, that's, I would say, a pretty good answer. 
according to our statistics, is between 8 and 15 years, but the average is, in fact, 10 years, yeah? And the problem is that sometimes if you want to keep it a little bit longer, the system is not really ready for upgrade. You cannot do too much with it. You just need to replace it completely because the system got obsolete. It's not the case with Genetec. Uh, maintenance. Uh, the older the system is, um, the, the more close proprietary it is, the more costly maintenance of the system is. Uh, limited growth. Uh, companies are growing, uh, growing dynamically. Uh, we also know after COVID that uh, the way we use offices changed dramatically. And access control should reflect those changes, should follow them and adapt to them. But it's not the case because the systems are not able to, to grow. And sometimes simply the scale of the system is a problem. We see that for our competitors, you know, they are really good if you have 100 doors and, you know, 500 employees. But if you want to use the same system, even without adding any functionality, but you want to secure 500 doors, because you just, for instance, take over one company and you have another building to protect, you cannot do it, because simply it is too challenging for the system. It will never be the case uh, for, for genetic. Changing threats uh, and cybersecurity is particularly important one. Yeah? So we see m more and more threats that are, that are evolving, that are new. Cybersecurity is one. Everything now in security is, uh, is IP. Yeah? Everything is connected somehow, and if it is connected, you need to be cyber secure. Security system should be secure, first of all, but it's not the case. In many systems are not secure at all. So you will see how it is. Additional, I would say, things that you should consider and customer consider buying access control is what else I can have with access control. It's not only about security. So you have operational efficiencies, improved intelligence, and you have secure access control system as additional, I would say, needs. And I would like to draw your attention to this improved intelligence. That's, wow, that's a nice laser. So improved intelligence, this is crazy important these days. That means that with access control, you not only secure your premises, but you get some data. And you can draw some conclusions about the way your building is uh, uh, being used, your organization is treating security policy. Sometimes if we talk, for instance, at the airport, or about the airport, you can draw some conclusions concerning efficiency of the checkpoint, for instance. Efficiency of the queue at the airport, how quickly the, the, the process is, is taking place. And to be able to do it in response to, uh, to evolving needs, you need to have open architecture, and we are open. We are not open to everyone. For instance, there are two brands, I will be open, two Chinese brands that, uh, yeah, they cannot really work with, 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 with Genetech uh, due to some, I would say, security, cyber security issues. But except for that, all the camera vendors, all the, um, access control uh, vendors can be integrated to, uh, to Genetech. And uh, I think we are the only system that can offer you freedom of choice of controllers in access controls. Not only card technology, not only readers, but controllers as well. Our system is called Synergies. Access control from Genetech is called Synergies. This is quite unique system and this is unique because first of all we are unified. This is a very important uh, word that we use quite often. What is unification? Unification, we also compare it to integration. Integration is combining different systems that in fact were not aimed to work together and integrate them using another system. So you have access control from one vendor, you have video from another vendor, you want to integrate them, and you do it by adding another system, SIM or security management system. So you already have two servers, you already have two interfaces, and now to make it even more complex, you add another server, you add another um, uh, user interface, but you have integration. What we do, uh, and we call it unification, That's, where is this? Doesn't matter, you, you can find it yourself. <laughs> so unification is one system, one server, one user interface offering functionality of several systems. 
So having Genetic Security Center, you have access control, you have video management software, and you have it in the same user interface, and you use the same server. Pretty simplified and efficient infrastructure. Uh, as I told you, open, flexible, secure intelligence. I will have several, uh, several slides on security, so you see that we have kind of obsession about cybersecurity because we do believe that security systems should be secured, first of all. Um, and very important, and in fact it was in the title of the pre presentation, simplified migration. We know that you need some time, it's a process, to move from one system, legacy system, to another one. And we can help you, we can help you reusing some parts of infrastructure, readers, for instance, maybe cards, maybe for sure cabling, um, and uh, we can also migrate some databases because there is a lot of data included in the, uh, in the access control always. So we have processes, we have tools to move databases. And we also always act is, uh, as ecosystem, yeah? So access control is always connected to batch design printing, it's uh, mobile apps, it's uh, you know, threat level, visitor management, a lot of, a lot of elements, and intrusion detection. Intrusion, which is uh, anti-burglary system, and access control, they are always connected very, very well. And we have several, here I would say integration, but very deep integration uh, to intrusion, uh, that, that should be connected to access control. This is really important in, in all the buildings that you secure, but you are from security, so you know that. Uh, key cabinets. It's good to have access control, but uh, fortunately, unfortunately, you will always have a need to have keys. And uh, if you add key cabinets, which is combination of key cabinet and access control, you will have precise information who took the key and um, uh, which key was, was taken and when it was taken. So you can, you can track it because the biggest challenge of, of, of having keys is that you don't know how many keys is in the system, how many copies are in the system, who has which key. If you go for a key cabinet, you will have a control, some form of control over it. Okay, unified at the core. This is what I briefly mentioned, but I want to, to repeat it maybe and, uh, and show you some uh, smart diagrams. Uh, so security center. This is in the core. This is our core product, Genetic Security Center. It's our platform. You purchase it and you already have, even if you just use it for one camera, you already have access control there. Obviously it will not work because you need cards, you need to have um, uh, readers, but you have it. So when you decide, okay, I want to go for access control at Genetic, you just connect controller, you just connect readers, but the software is already there. Uh, we also, you also have video analytics. Um, you, you have it in the, in, in the package. Yeah? You have um, uh, dynamic graphical maps. It's very important. Everything that is visible in the system, it is connected to the system. You will see it on the map. I will show you some slides. Yeah? And automatic number of plates recognition. You also have license for it. Yeah? Basic, uh, basic package. Yeah. Obviously, there are some add-ons, modules that um, sometimes you need to add from other vendors. Uh, but we have really long list of partners, third party partners, that uh, that uh, do it. And this is practical example. I like those examples because you can clearly see how it is uh, in real life. Yeah. So you know, we came from video, so we do believe that video brings you really important data. Yeah? So you have alarms, you have sensors, you have data, but when you can compare it to actual video, you can really verify it. Yeah? And you see that this is a very simple feature. You know, someone entered the door. And uh, just by adding such a simple functionality, uh, where is this? OK. I will do it in a manual way. Yeah? You see the guy? Very simple picture yeah, of the person attached to the cart. So whenever the cart is present, the operator see, okay, the holder of this cart should look like this one. Yeah? Maybe he will clean shave his face so the, he will look slightly different, but more or less we see 
that this is how the guys should look. And then we see on the, the left, um, uh, sorry, right uh, lower corner, we see the actual video. So the operator can, can see immediately, okay, this guy is using his card. But when he see on the video, you know, some teenager, perhaps, he just gave the card to his son, you know, because of some reasons, yeah. So it's a potential security, security breach. Very simple functionality, but adding a lot of security. Uh, and obviously you see on the map, you see all the elements, and when you see elements in Genetech, it means that you can do something with it. So if you see an icon of the door, you can open the door, pressing the button, you can lock the door. If you see the camera, you can move the camera. Camera can also move automatically, you know, if certain procedure is set to the system, but you can do it manually. Again, simple thing, but crazy effective and improving security a lot. Open and flexible, what do we mean by that? In access control, when someone tells you open, it doesn't mean they are, they are open in most cases. It means, if you are lucky, that you can use different card technology and different readers. But preferably you should buy them from the vendor. Yeah? What we mean by being open is a completely different story. Whenever there is some card technology, whenever there is a reader technology and it is reasonable, it is part of Genetech. So you can use it, you can connect it. You know, you, you see here in, in the different companies, HID being perhaps the biggest in the market, but we also have Steed, which is direct competition to HID. And, and you being our customers or partners, you can decide whether you want to go for a Steed or HID. Asablo, 2N, you know, and we are adding, adding, and we are keeping the, the previous ones, so it's basically the whole ecosystem, yeah? Also, um, elevator dispatch systems. Very important point, very, very useful. All key players in the vertical are, are utilized. Wireless lock, growing trend in the, in the security industry. All key players are um, working uh, with Genetech smoothly. Why is open architecture important? First of all, if you are the customer, you will never be locked. Because if you have a system secured by, by a company which is open, and you have one piece of hardware, let's say one car technology or controllers, you are not happy with that, you replace it. Because the system is open, so the system will stay, but some parts will be, will be uh, replaced. It's non-proprietary. We are open for integrations as well. If some partner of yours wants to have his system for instance, building management system or some other system connected to Genetech, go for it. We offer in, uh, IoT protocols, all kinds of protocols, SDK, API, because we do believe in openness. Multiple options for your needs. Obviously, you can even combine card technologies or readers in the same system if there is a good reason for that. Yeah, Genetech will not stop you from doing so. Evolve us with your business. I give the example of airports. Most of our features uh, that we develop came from airport industry. We have more than 300 airports in the world, you know, the biggest one. You, you all flew um, uh, from this airport, starting from Zagreb, which is one of the nicest airports in Europe, to be honest. It's not the biggest, but it's the nicest to me in terms of shape, you know, and the way it's organized. It's our customer. Uh, and, you know, Airports have really specific needs, and sometimes they come to us and they say, yeah, Genetech, maybe you would add this and that to your system, because we would need it in our, in our environment. We do it. For instance, functionality called Quick Search was, uh, was developed this way, because it was the tool to quickly find the video uh, from the area when the unattended luggage was left. Because you see the unattended luggage, that's great, you have an alarm, but the real question is who left it, yeah? And maybe someone left the unattended luggage 20 minutes ago, but maybe it was, you know, an hour or two hours ago. And you need to see through the footage very quickly. And basically with this functionality, quick search, you can do it with, with four clicks. That was invented by, uh, on a request of one of the key European airports, we developed it for them, but now it's available for all the customers. This is how we, uh, how we work. Yeah? Preserve existing hardware. As I said, if you have readers, cabling, sometimes even controllers that can be connected to Genetech, by all means, do so. No need to replace them. 
This is perhaps the most complex slide of this presentation. So you see how the access control looks. So uh, you have our server. This is Synergy server. By the way, it's the same server sometimes that, that, that for video, but sometimes it's, it's separate. You have all the options of physical, let's say, edge devices of access control. But you also have something that is really important, and I will have a separate slide on that. It's called CloudLink. Synergy's cloud link. This is very unique feature and hardware piece. We are generally software house, but sometimes we manufacture hardware. Cloud link is an example of it. So basically what you have with cloud link, and this is generation two, invented very recently. I call it micro server. My, call it, uh, my colleagues call it uh, different ways, but in fact what is the device doing is kind of server job in the field. Obviously, you can use it as a controller because there are inputs, outputs, there are relays, so you can use them. But in fact, the whole logic, the whole intelligence is in the device. Even if you cut the server, if you are disconnected from the server, still CloudLink knows who should get to the building, when and uh, to which part. And uh, it talks to other CloudLinks. So if you have some, let's say, global anti-passback or other global functionalities that requires communication between controllers from different buildings, you can do it without asking server. In traditional architecture, one controller is talking to server, another controller is talking to server, and only server is the element that knows what is happening in the all infrastructure. Here, you don't have to do it because even if the server is down, one cloud link will talk to another cloud link and ask, for instance, if the person still is in the building or maybe the person left the building. If the person left the building, he can enter it again. If he's still in the building and the cart is presented, then it's anti-passback global violation, which is one of the basic features of access control, as you for sure know. Why a three-tiered architecture? By this three-tiered architecture, we mean that we have this cloud link, yeah? Because you have server, you have cloud link. For cloud link, you can connect up to 256 doors, basically. And, uh, you know, it's technically, it's adding additional element. But I would say, you know, you don't add a lot of them because you add one cloud link per building in most cases, but you have much more redundancy and much more flexibility. And if you decide to go for cloud, and uh, trust me, in the US, for instance, big part of our access controls is cloud-based. Being um, uh, equipped with CloudLink, you can do it very easily. And now I will, uh, how much time uh, do I have left? Five minutes, so I need to speed up. Uh, Let me localize myself in the presentation. Okay, exciting slide, but, but I have better one. So I will start with this one. <laughs> That's a really good slide, and it's a kind of provoking, yeah? So the reality of access control. We are talking about one of the key security systems in the building. Very often, what they are using is 125 kilohertz prox card or even worse, Maxstripe card. So the card costs, you know, I don't know, one euro. You can clone it, you know, in five minutes even. So it's illusion of security, in fact, yeah? But a lot of systems are equipped with those kind of readers. Another point, which is very common mistake, the reader is totally on unsecure site, which is normally the case. Yeah? Sometimes you have antennas, but that's a, that's a different story. And reader is talking through Vigant, which is open protocol to controller, and very often controllers are on unsafe site. For instance, in, uh, in the, uh, how do you call it, hidden ceiling, yeah? which, which you can access with a with ladder, basically. Yeah? And controller is a, is a critically important point. So basically what you always do, you place controller on a safe side and communication with, between the reader and controller should be safe. This is, this is extremely important, yeah? And another point uh, is server, workstation. Access control workstation should be really safe. This is about passwords. 
this is about strong password changing in properly, but also placing your workstation in a spot that you know no one is really capable of looking at, you know, and uh, reading from the from the keyboard the the password you are you are using. So those type of you know security elements. So if you want to make it secure, and this is how we do it at Genetech, and how we would advise you to do, is to go for a security um, a safety card which is uh, my first this fire ev1 for instance um, uh, secure communication osdp between the reader and the controller then you go for for the cloud link which is always on the safe side of the infrastructure so no one can really have access to it and if you have workstation workstation is using uh, encryption technology tls and obviously we force all the operators to change the password and have the password of certain strength intelligence very important part L look this is still the same product this is the same platform this is genetic security center it's just an example the power of security center is that you can create we call it dashboard the way you want it so basically here there is someone who is taking care of cyber security you see that the system is ranked 14 out of 19 options yeah so basically you can still have five actions to make your system more secure and you can do it from this particular dashboard you press it you see okay what is the missing part for instance the the firmware of one of the camera is not up, updated yeah do you want to upgrade it you press yes and you upgrade it from the from this dashboard you can connect all the sensors temperature humidity critical for a um, uh, data center for instance yeah so you and, and as always you know we came from video you have a picture from the camera so you see okay humidity is a little bit on high side yeah but then you can visually check okay what is happening here you know maybe i have some leakage yeah 59 perhaps it's okay but if you have 70 perhaps it would be good to see okay maybe there is a water you know in the in the room yeah so or, or smoke those type of things and you have a lot of data available another example on map based everything not only available at the map but you can also take actions you know that's that, uh, that's pretty unique and bear in mind one minute left almost there bear in mind that we are as the uh, in fact we are in the sql database at the very very back of the of that so we love to bring data from the system and generate reports for you this is an example of that it can be thousands this is about you know how fast i screen my people and what is the hit rate very popular in COVID times by the way yeah but it can be used you know in many other aspects migration made easy migration is never easy but we can make it a little bit easier for you yeah so that's uh, that's what we bear in mind so we can plan it we can reuse the infrastructure that you have we can support you and we did it many many times and in fact we have manuals for certain typical migrations if you switch from this system to that system we can help you because we did it and we did it not once we did it perhaps 15 times in the past or, or hundreds times depends on the system yeah and I will finish with that one. I have five more slides, but I will finish with that one. And that's an excellent slide to finish. Uh, pain of same versus pain of change. Uh, what's the word in English for it? Typing machine, yeah? Perfect, perfect device. And I know that if you are really good with that, if you are fast, you don't see any reason, you know, to, to switch. And it's really painful. My mother did this, yeah? So she was extremely fast on the typing machine terribly slow at laptop but after five years she learned okay laptop is giving me in fact much more um, uh, functionality so the pain of same was for forgotten but you know the change brought a lot of new functionality and this is what we are doing at genetic we have a stand over there we are called genetic i'm jakub kozak and i'm more than happy to to talk to you when you visit our our stand thank you very much guys Thank you, Mr. Kozak. It was very interesting.